Okay, it's my first video, so bear with me. Uh, I have created a bunch of skins with different textures varying through them. That's what I've called my skin pack. Now, I copied my skins and I have put them into Paint Shop into the textures folder. Now, from there, I can then go into paint shop pro i have just created a normal layer and i have gone to textures i've selected a texture adjust the scale you might need to do it a few times to um, get the look that you're going for so in this case i'm actually happy with that texture and then we will Create that as a mask layer, as hide all. Now, when we paint white on the mask layer, it will actually um, show us the underneath image. So, turn the textures off. We'll go to white, and we can see that there. And we can see our skin texture. Now, having done that, we can actually go through and adjust the layer. We can change it to color, for example. Uh, I don't personally like that. You lose a lot of the details in it. Uh, luminescence does work actually well, I find. I don't know why, but uh, with some of the, um, the looks, it's actually quite uh, noticeable. Uh, depending on what your um, underlying skin actually looks like. But what I kind of like to do is leave it on normal. So I'll put it on normal, and then I like to just turn the occupancy down, so it doesn't occupy as much space, until I get a colour where it's starting to blend with the skin. Go back to mask, and we can paint in our skin, you can see that texture coming through. Now I've already textured this um, photo using an AI system. But it's just not perfect. So we want to go through and clean up the entire image and give it the uh, textures that um, I want to show through. And this will clean it up. Now, before I put any image into uh, Paint Shop Pro, I actually like to use the automated systems to, um, to fix the image up. So usually I'll upscale the image. Um, Gigapixels AI is probably the best one to upscale with. It's um, definitely worth the money. Uh, that's what I've done with this one. I actually did it as um, low resolution um, because doing low resolution on Gigapixel has a tendency to sharpen up all the edges and bring out a lot of the uh, lost detail. Uh, also roughs up the image, which uh, I find allows that skin texture um, or even if it's not a skin texture and it's just colours, the colours uh, pixelate a little bit and give it an illusion of a uh, skin texture, which I quite like. So we'll just go through. We just want to clean it up. Uh, the beauty of doing it like this is it doesn't have to be perfect. It, uh, you can be a bit messy with it. And like, I mean, if you go like that into the hair, for example, you can come down you can go to your uh, smudge brush. Um, you just go smudge and we'll turn that size down a bit i love the smudge brush i think uh, it's probably one of the uh, best things uh, i've played with it with um, adobe uh, adobe isn't nearly as good so we can just push or smudge it or fade it a bit and push it back and it's the same with the skin you can just move that skin around and you're just moving the white around, so you're not going to lose any of that detail that it's putting in. You can see that actually come through as we push it, so it creates that. And you can do multiple layers of skin and use one of the other ones. I'll just go back to paint. This helps get rid of the, um, the bright flash marks, especially on old photos. This was a... Um, 
an aging black and white photo which had that uh, sapia tone to it so you could actually see the um, the yellows coming through and which isn't a bad thing um, I find the sapia tone on old photos uh, adds a bit of a skin color to it to begin with um, I put I like to run it through a colorize app uh, I use colorize IT there's a couple of different ones um, and by using that I find it just throws some sort of skin tone and shadowing on the photo before I work with it and I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks now so you know any cheating method to get me there faster I prefer so you can see the difference that makes straight away it brings in a cleaner fresher look we've left some of that uh, dirt underneath which you know overall on the picture actually makes it look better uh, we'll go through and clean that up some more um, I'm going to create a new layer. Let's find out what this will do. Now, I am going along doing this for the first time just to see what will happen. Go back to that. Um, the color. Uh, when you select your skin and you go to your texture, I'm going to throw on a different texture. Uh, I like the human skin. I'll put that one on. You find oh, put the texture on. See, this one's got a bit more um, lines to it, which I kind of like. But with the colour, we can go through and we can change that. So we'll go to a, a lighter tone. So and we can use that for uh, highlighted areas, areas that we want to highlight. And I don't want to use that one. That one's a bit too, a bit too bright. I want to find something like that. So, yep, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the size of it. Okay, so... We shall turn that into a mask as a hide all. And we will just throw an area on. Change that back to white. Uh, let's pick an area. I'm going to go over here and put that on. Okay. Let's see that new skin tone coming through. And I want to blend that one with the previous skin now. Just bring it down. This layer would actually whoop, there we go. This layer would actually uh, work really well to um, instead of brightening an area, actually darken an area. So we can do that. We can go through and put it on lighten. Okay, and then we'll go back down to our mask. And we'll just fill that mask in a little bit and just. We just want to lighten up a couple of little areas. That. There we go. We'll leave that as a shadow on the face. We probably want more shadow there, but we'll get better in a sec. We'll probably erase a little bit, maybe smudge a little bit out would be the way to go. Okay. So you can see the flash is coming in from this angle. So it's actually. We don't need that. I will get rid of add a bit of a different skin texture there. We'll get to that smudge tool. And we'll just smudge it in. Okay, that's a bit heavy, so we're going to have to change that down. Um, change that occupied, occupancy down. Neurological dyslexia makes it fun with words. That's better. And we'll get a bit of a softer tone running through that. Just pull that down a bit. That's what I like about the running it through um, Gigapixel AI. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute, and you can see it roughs it up, so the uh, hair tones look a bit better as well. Let me just push that through. I want some of that original darkness, but not a lot of it. There's too much there before. I'll pull that down. Just, there we go. Let's see what the... Yeah. Push that. Bring that up there a bit. Just get that bit of colour back, but not so harsh. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So, that's our second layer of the skin tone. So let's have a look at this. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. That's our before image. And now we 
building up our layers for our uh, skin tones. I might. Uh, trying to work out what's looking better with the nose. Alright, let's come in here. Whoop. Got to remember working on that mask layer. And clicky clicky. Let me just erase some of that. There we go. No, I want that back. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's better. It's not so harsh. Yeah. Okay. So, that's doing some skin textures. Uh, there is... You can create a layer. And you can do a, um, a texture. But a bit different. What we'll do is... Go to the texture pattern, and uh, I think it's uh, tin foil if I can find it. Yeah, concrete might not be bad. Let's have a look here. Hmm. Hmm. Try concrete. Let's have a look. We're going to put it as grey. Okay. I'll pull that down. Let's have a look at that. It's got some interesting little breaks and ticks in it. Okay. And um, we're going to change that layer to luminescence. You can do this after you mask it, which I find is usually better. Okay. Then add some really bright details there with the concrete. So let's have a look at that. I want to make that a bit more translucent. Okay. I find this is really good on the dark areas, so you can actually just do it like this. Um, okay, now we can throw that as a mask. Hide all, gone. Go back to our white. And we can paint in some areas that we want darker. So, like the neckline. We'll fix that up in a minute, we'll get it darker. Mm -hmm. I want that sort of pop. Actually, I might have been better going for a grey tone. It wasn't um, quite what I wanted. Da, 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 da. What we'll do is we'll just change it from that and we'll change it to burn, which usually goes a nice dark tone. There we go, that's better. I find burns really good for um, bringing out a lot of um, a lot of details that might disappear. Like let me say that chin uh, jawline down there. Let me follow down. Okay, so it can really just bring out um, some features when they disappear. So we'll do that there. Okay, and go to our smudge tool. We'll probably end up lighting that off. We'll just go larger there. A lot larger apparently. Yeah, that's nice. We'll just blend that in a bit. Okay. And so adding a bit of a different texture. Just a couple of light speckles through it on the concrete. You don't want to use flat colours. I mean, they're okay for um, colouring in your skin tones, but um, you're better having textures because our, uh, our skin's not perfect. And the more unperfect skin tones you have, usually the um, the better the image will look. There we go. Let me just push that up. There we go. I'm going to make that a bit lighter. I want it there. I just don't want it. don't want it so um, leery that it's jumping out. I just want it subtle. Okay. And Back onto that mask layer, just push some of that around. There we go. There. Very subtle. I like that. So it just adds that subtle um, tone difference and brings it down, adds that shadow to make it a little bit more de deep. So I turn them off. And that's the prior image, untouched. 
and we're adding our skin tones and our textures and we just build it up layer upon layer upon layer upon layer okay uh, hopefully that's helpful um gigapixel i'll put up a different video about that later hopefully you find this uh, handy